Hello my gorgeous Libras, thank you so much for tuning in to your reading with me Lorian. For those of you who are returning subscribers, welcome back and for those of you who are new, thank you very much for joining me. This is going to be on March for 2018, I almost said 2017, 2018 reading and it is a general reading for Libra Sun, Moon and Rising sign. I'm Libra Rising so I'm kind of in the same boat as you guys finding out what's going on and we're going to be using the Everyday Witch Tarot. This is a really really nice deck by Deborah Blake. Um, so yeah we're just going to see what kind of information comes through I suppose and see what we can get. We're using the beautiful natural light of a very sunny day in England and um, hopefully we can get some good energy going. So this is, um, like I said, a general reading. If you want a personal reading, all the information as to how to get one and contact me is down below, including my email address and everything else that you'd need. Um, but 2018 seems to be quite a strong year, actually. There's a lot of potential coming through um, for, you know, change and it's not going to be as heavy as far as I can see. However, I do think there's a lot of things that people are going to change about their individual self before Saturn goes into Capricorn in 2019 and demands structure and everything like that. So we have a year to figure things out for ourselves first. Let's have a look and see how this month will affect Libra. I hope February has treated you well so far. If you are watching this in February, indeed. Let's have a look. All right, that seems to be good. I'm getting a lot of yellow from you for you guys. Yellow is very much about the solar plexus and the me, the the um, awareness of yourself, like your gut instincts are there. So we'll see. Oh, as above, so below. We have the star. Oh, nice. We have the queen of pentacles. Nice again, the high priestess. And wow, the fool. Okay. If you hear any purring, by the way, my cat's just decided, just as soon as I started doing tarot reading, to come into the room. So, <laughs> if you can hear any fusses, then that's probably her. Alright, let's have a look and see what's coming up for you guys now. Hmm. So the star is quite a, kind of like a pinnacle here. I feel like this is going to be changes for you, but a hope. Um, serenity as well but in particular when it comes to this card it is a lot about having that uh, manifestation technique with the universe and bringing it to the earth so you don't want to be too airy fairy flighty whitey you don't want to be too connected to the universe because that's where you miss out on some things that we're here for we're here for a human experience we're here to build our souls and brighten ourselves and reconnect in a meaningful way and if we're not as grounded to the real life how can we affect change how can we be of use really to the universe and how can the universe be of use to us if we're not actually with our feet on the ground and wanting to change things and wanting to have certain things that you know we're working towards so I think that is the thing that we're going into at the moment um, with a general sense of well-being but also with a sense of hope you know and a generosity maybe being inspired by those around us who have already got what they came to do and I also see that this is quite a strong connection with the Queen of Pentacles. So this is influence, but this is a down-to-earth lady. She's very motherly. She seems to be quite intriguing. Um, she could sometimes be seen as a footy duddy you know, like not really able to take a joke. Um, not all of them will be, but it's just kind of like, oh, you tell them something funny that happened, like a, maybe a case of schadenfreude, and you're like, oh, it was so funny. She tripped over, and then the banana went out of her handbag. You know, something like that. That. and she may not get it she may be like oh no the poor woman and she's so focused on oh no that she can't see the funny side or the lighter side of things in very rare occasions that will be the case but also I feel like she comes through with a sense of structure for you and maybe a case of I'll hold your hand and I'll take you through this and don't worry I will see you through to the to the manifestation phase you know I will connect with you I will see you through to something quite important and I feel like she is pro providing you 
with something, with something that you can use, with something that you can take, maybe it's advice, maybe it's a stage, maybe it's something that's really strong, but she is coming through saying maybe like a work scenario, because she can be associated with work as well, but she comes through with a, a case of um, love and very motherly and wanting to take care of you, she wants your health to be better, she wants you to be working towards something that you feel connected with I suppose, um, but she may have a slight issue when it comes to this where she can't actually understand you sometimes so don't don't worry if she, if she can't understand you but I do think that you will find some common ground and then you have the high priestess now this is basically your unconscious awareness so this is potential mystery but I also see this as the Pisces card so it could be that you're kind of in depth with yourself, you're looking into the self, you're kind of learning the basics maybe of law of attraction, manifestation, trying to draw in certain things to yourself as well. The runes here show that you may be wanting to kind of level down, you've got a lot of research to do. Um, I also feel like you will be able in the longer term to actually gain some knowledge from the quieter moments, maybe in your meditations, maybe in your, okay, so got to organise this, got to focus on this, got to be aware of what I want to do. So this person, she could also be in property, this girl or woman, she could be somebody who's very good in business, very good in um, structural things like that. So it could be that, you know, you're kind of going to be helped by her in some matters but you have to meditate on whether it's going to be the right choice for you or whether it's going to be the better in the long term but then you have the full card so this is saying that it probably will be um, beginning spontaneity and some people may not understand but I think you've reached your destination here I think you've come through and said oh yay I'm here now woohoo and you've landed. Somebody else had this card, I can't quite remember who, um, but somebody else had this one, and it was basically like, she's landed, she's not just taken off, she's landed, and it could be that you end up near the sea, it could be that you end up in a new destination, the cat seems to be a little bit traumatised, um, but I just think it's you kind of saying, yes, I've been spontaneous, I've had faith, this is my new beginning, and I'm setting myself free. Now, other people may go, oh, you've taken a risk, or well, you're taking a risk, with regards to this. Um, for a lot of you, I think it is your heart wanting to take a risk. You may want to romantically take a risk and trying to um, change something within your marriage or change something with a partnership. Could be even wanting to change something about yourself so you feel better in order to be able to attract your equal. Not necessarily attract the person you think is your equal, but change yourself first. And I think that could be something that's really giving you hope for the whole future here. But definitely connect with your guides, definitely connect with your intuition. And you have the Six of Pentacles, which to me is all about growth, generosity, charity. So I think through you, this month, the universe may want you to be a little bit giving of your time, advice, that sort of thing. If you can't give money, which, you know, very, very many, very little, sorry, people can nowadays. If you can't give it that way, you can give it your, you know, advice or something like that. Oh, and then we have the Four of Swords, so you need to rest, and this woman may be allowing you to rest, actually. She could be giving you the help you need in order for you to just restore yourself, recuperate, you know. Um, it could also be that you're looking at an offer that she's giving you with a little bit of a sceptical eye, but I do feel that this, because this is um, a waxing moon phase I feel like this could be that you're saying okay well I'm regrouping recharging and I'll see what I can do with this opportunity ah, and then we have the king of swords so it could be also that there's a very dominant male who's very disciplined but also very clear thinking and very intellectual it could be that he's mentoring you or you are of that ilk wanting to be a mentor to somebody um, but it's basically a lot of books a lot of knowledge you're soaking up knowledge you're soaking up things and I think it is your kind of dedication maybe you want to communicate a bit more in writing or in song or something like that you wanted to communicate and I know I saw a lot a lot of um, yellow and that's not gone away <laughs> um, you still got a lot of yellow in your reading here and when I'm looking at it I pick up on the yellow mostly but you also have a lot of blue and I think that's to do with your communication chakra your throat chakra so 
It could be that you're wanting to wipe away the cobwebs and wanting to, you know, find your voice again. Oh, and then you have the Queen of Swords. So this could be you. This could be either of you. You know, if you're a male, it could be that. Or, you know, it could be something that, you know, you are connecting with. The Queen is also a very, you know, clear communicator, but also a quick thinker. She's perceptive. She can see things. So it could be that you're independent. She can also be a very disciplined career woman she could be divorced or childless or something like that but either way she is definitely something or someone that you can count on in the lead up to these changes and I do honestly believe that you are going to get the changes you need or starts to see the changes but this is something that I think is coming through for you very strongly you need to build up your knowledge you need to build up your sense of being um I think a new beginning is calling you. Hang on, let me have a look. Ah, then we have the emperor. Study of some kind, learning of some kind. You have not yet completed your training for something. I don't know what this is. <laughs> what training it is, I don't know. Um, but it just feels like you've had enough non-action now. Now is the time to change. Now is the time to maybe take a risk. Now is the time to look for other avenues. So do try your best if you can to work towards this goal. I honestly feel like you're on the right track but let me know in the comments below as to how things are going for you and as always I do love hearing from you. Thank you so much for everybody's comments so far and thank you for subscribing. Again if you want to contact me for a reading or anything just click on the links below. But in the meantime, I wish you the very best of March and I look forward to talking to you all very soon.